Hi, welcome to Informatica support videos. I am Satyanath and I am working in Informatica GCS as a software engineer. In this video, we shall take a look at how to capture S-Trace for IICS tasks. S-Trace is a Linux tool and it is useful in troubleshooting performance issues or crashes. Here, I am going to show you on how to collect S-Trace output for a given task run. Generally, one can collect S-Trace by passing the PID of a running process. However, when the task crashes as soon as it starts, or if we try to collect once the task has started, we may miss few details in S-Trace. Also, when there are multiple tasks or processes running, it would be difficult to get the trace for the required task. One can follow the steps as described here to get the Tomcat PID which is the parent process for all the DTM processors and capture S trace on that and get traces for all the child processors. You can read about the options used in Linux man pages for S trace. To start with, first let us check the currently running data identification servers version in IICS. Log in to IICS and go to Runtime Environments page and click on the required agent. So here, Data Integration Service is now currently running on version 59.0.16. Go to the Linux server where the agent is installed and go to the Tomcat folder under the version of the data integration server that we just noted. In Tomcat folder, one can find Tomcat PID.txt, which will contain the current Tomcat's PID. Run the cat command to check the PID. Note down the PID and go to the folder where we can collect the traces. For example, now I am going to strace output folder. Now run the strace command with hyphen ff tt capital T v options and pass the PID noted in the previous step. Once you have started this, switch back to IICS and run the task for which you need to collect the S trace. So for example, I will go back to one of my tasks and rerun that. Once it is completed, you can download the session log for the same, which will also contain the PID of the process that ran for this task. So the process ID was 32243. Go back to the agent server where we collected the S trace and stop collecting S trace by control C. Now we can check the S trace output in the directory where we ran S trace. Collect the S trace that was created here and share it with Informatica GCS for further troubleshooting. With that, we have reached the end of the video. We would love to hear from you. 
please write your feedback at support videos at the rate of informatica.com or write to us at the Twitter handle mentioned. Thank you.